Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Pragmac. Today, I wanted to discuss something a little bit different, and this time, it's also a little bit freaky. And I'm talking about a new and curious robot by Unitree Robotics. They've unleashed a very futuristic robot, which they are calling the Go One. But I might lovingly refer to it as the Robot Dog. I also think calling it a Robot Dog is a fair way of characterizing it, seeing how even the marketing materials have a digital leash around the robot. Literally zeros and ones streaming from the person to the robot, controlling its every move. So I think it's legit just to call it the robot dog or also maybe in this case a very fancy water bottle carrier and watching the demo video where they buy a bottle of water and they put it on the robot dog to be taken with them. Well, I have to say I think I'd take a sip of water first because I'm going to assume that it gets very hot when it moves around and that water is about to get heated up. But again, looking at the go one, this robot isn't really about that. It's not really about carrying stuff. It's more of a demo, isn't it? It's more about a proof of concept and something that is here from the future coming to the mass market. The more I look at the Go One, it is stunning and freaky all at the same time. From a technical perspective, the robot has the ability to track the environment, track the individual it's meant to follow, maintain balance and stability all in real time. It's all being done on the robot. The AI, the computing power, it's very impressive. And to keep the Go One on track, Unitree has developed what they call the patented intelligent side follow system. Them, making sure that the robot walks alongside its human in a safe manner. In other words, it won't get in the way or more importantly, in the way of others. In addition, it can also help the robot make the best route decisions in a busy environment. So maybe that digital leash I mentioned, it actually makes sense. I never thought about having a fast, small moving robot walking in my peripheral vision, possibly having me trip up or worse, having everybody else trip on it. So it's nice to know that Go One will stay out of the way. Speaking about speed, speaking about how fast it is, in the specifications, it has its speed stated at anywhere from nine kilometers an hour all the way to 17. Just to put it in perspective, a city stroll at a casual manner might be around six kilometers an hour. So the Go One is ready to outpace most humans. And it can also carry a total payload of three kilograms, which I guess means you could add a small backpack to the Go One, enhancing its look and its usability, making me think that in the future I can only imagine what the accessory market is going to be like. Regarding its speed, this is where the battery life isn't entirely clear from the marketing materials, but I'm going to imagine the faster it goes is going to really impact the battery life. And it's also going to vary depending on that payload. Even the terrain it's going over is going to impact battery life. So this is going to be a very interesting test case once it hits the market to see how long it really lasts. And just a technical note, a technical aspect I wanted to call out is that all that movement is facilitated by small modular motors that are on each limb of the Go One, meaning that there is versatility, stability all throughout the frame. And that's easily demonstrated with the backflips and other acrobatics, which the company shows off in its demo reel. For the most part, I think battery life and a lot of these other concerns really isn't something to focus on at this time. I think in general, it's just amazing that this exists and it's amazing that it's coming to market. The most impressive aspect of the Go One is also gonna be the most frustrating and the most disappointing, and it's the price. It is priced at $2,700. That's right, just shy of $3,000, and I'm sure by the time taxes and accessories take hold, it will be over $3,000. Obviously, this is a very expensive product, but on the other hand, is it really? I mean, the first generation of anything is very expensive, and here we have an autonomous robot that fits into the trunk of a small car, all for under $3,000. For today, it's expensive, it's out of reach, but like drones, once were, they were very expensive when they hit the market initially. Drones were somewhat sketchy technology and it took some time to get adoption. But once the market matured, they became both reliable and affordable. And I believe that's where the real value of the Go One is. It is paving the way for mass market robotics and proving that AI and robotics technology are here in the real world at real market prices. Most importantly, they're going to prove that by selling it directly to consumers. For now, that price will make it hard hard for the vast majority of us to ever interact with this robot, but not long, there might just be a variation of this product for a lot less, and it might be here sooner than we think. And with that, I ask you, what do you think about the Go One? Do you think it's going to freak out all the dogs, and is it going to change the dog park forever? I'm just joking, I hope no one ever takes this anywhere near the dog park. But either way, let me know your thoughts about this technology, and if you think it's
it's a cool robot. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like, and if you've been enjoying a few videos, consider subscribing to the channel. You might just enjoy what's coming up next. As always, thank you from Pragmas.